This video contains the interview of a police officer caught abusing his power while off duty. On September 29, 2020, a group of university students was approached by a man claiming to be an undercover officer. The man had a badge and a gun and behaved in an intimidating manner. He was also drunk, which added to their sense of unease. The man was Keel Cotter, an officer recently hired by the university and still in his probationary period. Cotter asked the victim if she was willing to go eat with him. The victim then followed Cotter to a restaurant. While walking back to their original location, Cotter took possession of the victim's wallet and did not return it when they parted ways, according to the statement. Hey, just so you know, I've got a body camera on and it's recording. Okay, so I was waiting for that. Uh, that yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sorry to yeah. mention these circumstances. Yeah. But Is that great? No, but here, here's what I'll say to you, man. I really appreciate uh is it as bad as my department's putting it out to be? Well, I guess that's the issue. So I don't know shit about this, man, other than, than what I'm reading here. So it's like anything else, dude. So I, yeah. I just want to make sure that I'm on the same page as you about about what happened. Because it's, it's like everything else. Yeah. Is, we've got to talk to everybody and figure it out. Okay? Figure out what's going on. So I do, I do want to say this to you because of the circumstances, um, because I really do want to err on the side of caution. Yes, okay, I want you to know that I'm going to read you Miranda, but not because you're under arrest, just because we're here. It's a weird circumstance. I've never been in this position before. But I just want you to know that you do have the right to remain silent, okay? Anything you say can be used in some court or other proceedings. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, the court can appoint one free of any charge to you. And the attorney prior to any question if you want that. Okay, do you understand all that? Okay, so here's here's my suggestion to you, and again, I'm I'm on the outside looking in here, okay? My suggestion to you is, is just be honest, walk me through as much as you can, okay, about what transpired last night. Just so and, and like you know. I'd like to see that last picture. Yeah, all I'm gonna do is document um, all I'm gonna do is document what you tell me. That's it. It's like anything else, okay? So, as much as you can shed some light on, on what occurred, I appreciate it. I'll make sure that I give a fair and accurate what's, representation. What's the reason I'm here right now? So, the, re the reason why you're here is because somebody called last night and said that they had an interaction with the U of I police officer. Yeah. Okay. So, that's, that's basically what's the interaction? Well, I, I want to hear from you. I, I'd like, like to hear, well, no, I get that. I'd like to just hear what was said, though. So, so you, you, it puts me in an awkward position here, man, because, because I, like I said, I, I'm, I need to hear from your side of the story. So my, my concern, obviously, is that yeah, if I, I start agree with telling you yeah. what the other person has said, I just don't want to cloud it at all. I mean, yeah. in that way, right? So, let, so let me have, let's let's back it up then for a second. Start from the beginning. Let's start from the beginning. Did you go out last night? Went to Legend. I saw Sergeant Schroeder and my FTO at Big Grove Tavern at okay. about 8 o'clock. Caleb or Michelle? Uh, Michelle. Michelle. Okay. Uh, bought them their drink. Irish goodbye so that they wouldn't yell at me. Sure. Um, last went to the apartment. I was like, I'm through it. Like, I'm off tomorrow. I'll go drink. Okay. Uh, I used to work at Legend, so I feel comfortable there. Sure. Drinking alone. Um, hung out there. You know, alone, just by myself, uh, left intoxicated. Sure. Um, but I, like I said, over at um, post, I did have my duty weapon on me when I got there. Um, had three drinks, and I said, you know what, I was probably a bad idea to have this on me right now. Sure. Uh, left, still had the tab open, uh, put it away. Um, you said third away. Where did you? Put it? In my car. Not okay. not safely locked. It's in a unlocked uh, lock box. Okay. But still a locked vehicle. And where was your car at that time? Whatever the liquor store is behind uh, with that fifth van Healy. There's a, there used to be like a line at liquors. Yeah, it used to be the back way back. Oh, I, I know that Bamba. Ooh, I don't know that one. Yeah, yeah. Whatever was yeah. after that, I remember that one. Okay. Um, where they would serve. It's the, it's the uh, standalone building. Yeah. There. Got it. Okay. Um, I parked right there. Okay. Um, came back, continued drinking, whatever. So it was like a close ish. Okay. Um, close out. Uh, I've had multiple 
encounters in my life with being robbed. So, I don't, I mean, it's terrible. Probably shouldn't have had my badge on me, but I will always carry my weapon. I'm robbed at gunpoint. Although they are both officers, Cotter is new to the department and still on probation, so the two men do not know each other well. Cotter puts on a pleasant expression, but his tone has notes of hostility that indicate he may not be forthcoming about what happened. Twice, okay. So, I will, whether I'm in touch or not, carry, even if it's a bad idea, I still do it. But in the circumstances of being inside the bar, I know not to have it and turn yourself all around. Inside Burrito King, then, I went after Legend, down in Tacos, that's where I'm at, where our fucking name is. Had the encounter with her, drunk me, was probably 40, having fun. I said I woke up, I was like, that sure is helpful. She wasn't here. From that picture, god damn. Yeah, sure hope she wasn't, but she might have came there. I definitely didn't do anything, but woke up and I heard buzzing on my kitchen table and saw Michelle calling me. I'm like, oh, something happened. Then I saw a wallet on my table. I'm like, this is probably why I'm getting a phone call right now. Sure. She said, get the post. I can't talk to you about what's going on, but come to the post. Took the wallet, gave it to her right away, and I said, I'm sure this is probably the reason you're walking here. I had two missed calls. I called it, and it said, you're trying to contact 911. So it had to be a detective from some sort of department, wherever she's from. Okay. So I tried contacting her. I opened up the wallet. Decent amount of money in there, so I see why this girl's a little sure. picked off. Um, and like I said, if you guys didn't call or anything, she's local. I would have just dropped it off. Sure. Um, didn't take anything out of it. Uh, that's not me. Um, yeah. I sure as hell hope I didn't flash. I mean, I'm for, I might have flashed it in like a non aggressive manner. Like when it came up, bad or something, I sure hope I didn't, but like I said, I was drinking. I could have done something stupid. Okay. Um, but I did not. And she's saying that Rob, there. No, I, she's not. I, so I, I want to be clear about I did not. There's no. There, I, That's I, what I was freaking I, out. No, no, like, no, don't freak out about a guy that. coming at, you know, a girl coming at a, no, no, no. a white cop. I'm like, I sure as hell hope I'm not getting no, no, fucked so like I that. Be, so be clear about that. So I, I, can, I, I can say that. I think pretty conclusively. I, I don't think that at any point that's what she about. thought that you had robbed her. So, so here's here's what I'm, I want to I want to backtrack a little bit. Yeah. Um. And and say let's talk about the your recollection of your interaction with this girl. As far as you recall, where did you meet her? Rio King. At Rio King. Yes. Okay. So she has a different recollection. Where we met. She says that you guys met outside Green Street Cafe. So she she says that she was okay. leaving Green so a little after close or around bar close because she says I'm leaving Green Street Cafe with some friends because that's where they were drinking. Okay. And that in that parking lot I've never been to that bar. Okay. I can look at my The wallet belongs to one of the university students that Cotter attempted to intimidate. Receipts right now. I've never been to that bar. So as far as as far as you recall, yes, sir. Do you recall being maybe even in the parking lot on? I live over there. Sure. Yes. Yeah. So, do you think there's a chance that you ended up in that parking lot? I, I said to uh, the lieutenant chief over there, um, I'm not a drinker. When I drink, I go to sleep. I don't remember much. I remember her. Okay. Um, I remember having an interaction with her at Burrito King. Um, and I remember going home. Outside of that, I don't, I mean, I would remember sure. facts if I what was your wasn't what, asked. What was your interaction with her like? Cotter was off duty and out of uniform. He shouldn't have been showing his badge or weapon at all. Uh, friendly. Okay. I thought she was very friendly. I didn't see any issues. Um, I don't think I came off as an issue. Um, 
probably could have done a little copy and whatever okay. and had some liquid confidence. Sure. Um, just having fun. Uh, but I, I don't think there was any um, aggressive way. Okay. I'm not sure as a whole not. I just said, I'd be lying if I said I did something. I'd be lying if I said I did it. I'm trying to be as open as possible. No, I'm not, I'm not trying uh, to that. I'm trying to get this done so I want to be unmeasurably. Uh, <laughs> no, for sure. I totally, yeah, I totally get it. And, and like I said, I, I, from from my perspective, I don't have a dog in the fight. Right? So in a way, it's it, 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 it seems opposite right now. Well, not on your end. I'm sure, because I went to work. Oh, and of course. They're, doing, so, they're doing their part, and I'm yeah. like, I feel Every, like everybody's going to do their thing. Everybody's going to do their due diligence. It's, it's, yeah. it's not the, you're not the first person that has done something potentially embarrassing. So, so it's a recruit. But it sucks. It, it sure it does, man. Yeah, it does. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You know it does. No, but it does suck. But so, so, so again, I want to, I want to backtrack a little bit. Yeah. So, in her, in her statement last night. Let me check. I want to just, sure. I'm, going, I'm not doing this to go oh, off. I'm checking my bank statement. I want to see if there's anything at Green Street Cafe or anything around there. Okay. Burrito King of Legends. So her her statement was is that is she is leaving. She is about to get into a car with her friend. That she's leaving Green Street Cafe, yeah. and that she's a, that you approach her, yeah. okay, and that you identify yourself as a police officer, yeah. and that uh, when you identify yourself as a police officer, you show her your badge and your gun, and that. You didn't threaten her with it, but that you but that you showed her the gun. Did you say? Did you show the gun? The university student felt threatened and feared what would happen to her if she did not go along with Cotter. Since he took her wallet, she was trapped without money or ID. And that you showed that that well that she says that both were in your waistband, and that you lifted your shirt, you lifted your shirt up, and that she saw both your badge and your gun, but that you immediately sort of began flirting with her. Yeah, so I don't think that she, and I don't want to put words in her mouth, right? But it didn't sound like she thought that you were doing something nefarious, right? Yeah. But that that you had identified yourself as a police officer. Now she asked at some point, according to her, she asked at some point um, about you being a police officer, yeah. and then she she said that you told her that you were undercover, which is why you were in plain clothes, yeah. which. Again, yeah, that was a drunken. That I yeah. I don't remember saying that. Um, okay. And so they could have been alcohol talking. I'd, I'd be lying if I said I said something. I'd be lying if I said I didn't. Don't think I would have said that, but sure. you know, she was drinking, I was drinking. Okay. Things could be mixed. Um, sure. I I did have the uh, gun on me at that point. I did have the badge. Okay. Don't think I would have said that, but. Okay. Here's 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 really the one of the only sticky parts for me. Yes, sir. Okay. She says, and again, I don't know this girl from Adam. She says that it, it right at the outset, and again, I want to be clear, she never makes the suggestion that she thought that you were up to no good. Yeah. But she says that right at the beginning of this interaction. When you show your badge and your gun, that you took your gun out of the holster oh. brief, briefly as you started to talk to her, that you then reholstered into your waistband. So that's why. <laughs> that's 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 why. Yeah, that obviously is it's huge. that's an it's issue. Huge. That's huge. That's an issue. That's huge. So so let me ask you this: Do you normally carry appendix or do you carry okay. inside waistband? Inside the waistband appendix or, or along the side, right on your hip. Okay, you normally, you normally, like when you go out, like last night, you have your badge next to your. So I keep my badge here. Okay. Gun here. In, but inside the waistband, inside cover. The waistband. Is yeah. there any? Is there any chance? Any chance at all? And again, I just want to be yeah, so clear about I get it, that. that it's not. At no point does she say, "I thought I was being robbed" or "I thought he was going to hurt me." Right. I you didn't think any of those. If I did anything, like I said, I do not drink, so I do not remember a ton. Okay. Cotter was not an undercover officer, 
but a civilian would not be able to tell, and with a badge, the student could not risk that he was telling the truth. Turn to see some outside lights. If I did anything when I pulled it up and it came out, I put it back in. I do not remember, and if I did, it was very, very, very bad. Um, I do not remember pulling it out. That would be sure. I, it, it, that it'd be just terrible. Yeah. So, so I guess I, I let me let me ask you this: If you had to guesstimate how many drinks you had, uh, I said I had like three, and I put the the gun away in the car. Um, and then did you get did you get the gun yeah, back before again? walking before oh, walking home? home. Okay. Yeah. Um, six to eight. Okay. So and you think you're not based, based right? off of my tab I just saw, I would say six to eight. Does that include the tip? I would say about six to eight. Okay. My drinks are about ten to twelve bucks a piece. Okay, fair enough. So you have about a hundred dollar bill ish? Uh, it was it was eighty bucks. Okay, that includes the tip. So I, right. would, I would put that like six to eight. Yeah, that's that's seems fair. That seems fair. And uh, yeah, tip was twenty, so that would be that'd be about right. So so again, her her uh her estimation her estimation of of this whole interaction yes, sir. was that you, you, she thought you were trying to get away. Right. Well, that, I mean, and, and again, fair, right? I mean, like, oh, yeah. it, it makes sense for Al. It's oh, far yeah. close. Not the first person oh. to. And I, I said, one that's funny. Yeah. No offense to her. No, uh, no, yeah, of course. That was definitely the. Uh, sure. The was talking. Um, sure. I was like, yeah, yeah that's fucked, Kyle. But, you know. So, yeah. so I, I, I guess. For for me, the parts that that I would like very much to clear up yeah. are, um, and I think you probably would too. Yeah. It's the identifying yourself as a police officer part. Yeah. yeah. So telling her, so in, in her in her recollection, she she said initially at least that you sort of opened with that. You sort of opened with, hey, she asked like you know, hey, what are you doing? What do you do? Like that type of thing. Okay. Um, I'm an officer. Oh, are you? Yeah, I yeah. okay. am. Um, and I think at that point it could have, where I keep the weapon and where I keep the gun, or where I keep the gun and I keep the badge, I think that's where it would have flashed it. Okay. I guess I don't remember pulling it out closer. It, I, I've gone out and I've had, even before being an officer, I've had my weapon on me sure. um, prior with my concealed. Um, never have I ever unholstered. Sure. Ever. Yeah. Ever in my life. Well, I have, I mean, on duty I have, but like outside of that, absolutely not. Okay. So. Did you, did you at any point, did you tell her to stop? Did you tell her to, cause so, so this is, this is maybe it's unclear from the report. So she says that as she's leaving, she was about to get in the car. Yeah. That you sort of stopped her oh. and were like, hey, hold on a second, or something like that. And then said, hey, I'm a U of I uh, police officer. Yeah. And then and then it sort of uh, escalated. Not escalated, but like then you sort of like, hey, what are you doing? Uh, like, what well, are you well, doing? Well, you're a flirtation. Okay. Like, but, yeah. that, but that it sort of opened with, that's how it went. That's how, how I she and so and so I, again I think that was not necessarily again that she thought that you weren't doing anything sort of on tour, but it was like it sort of started from there. Sure. A little power there. Sure. A little power trip. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, or just maybe even like, I don't know, like it's a good pickup line or something. Using your last ditch effort. Sure. Maybe. Uh on the first I'm not fond of it, but uh, I probably did. Okay. Yeah. You probably said you did. I, I'm being dead honest with you. I do not know. Okay. Being dead honest with you, just based off of Trump Kyle. Probably. You could did. see yourself opening with, hey, hold on a sec, or something like that. Like last ditch effort. And terrible route to go. Um, okay. Um, yeah. All right, so so 
Green Street Cafe is for you at 55 East Green, so it's pretty close to... Right there, yeah. Right there. So I'm assuming, and again, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I'm assuming it would make sense that you were on your way home. Bar Legends, you leave Legends around clothes, you go get your firearm from the car. Go to Burrito King. Go to Burrito King. Well, so this is what... I want to make sure I get this right. So she says that you... Probably went there after. Yeah. Based on my looking at the thing, we probably went there after. Okay. I probably went there, saw people outside, jumped out, like, oh, okay. yeah, I still want party. Let's go make friends. Yeah, right. pretty much. I don't know anywhere around here, so I'm like, oh, I'll go make friends. Um, did that, and uh, it's that based off the time, so the bar's close to two. Burrito King, I think I had 2.45 um, okay. uh, receipt, roughly. Um, and then from there, how, let me ask you this: How did you how did you remember getting home? Getting home? Yeah, you remember like how how the interaction uh, ended and how you like eventually made it home. Uh, well, we ended up walking back. Okay. From there, walking back towards your place. That's what I remember. Okay. Um, how did you end up with her wallet? That's a great fucking question. So the, yeah, I'm being dead honest. When I walked out of my room this morning and I saw that there, I my heart dropped, my sure. stomach dropped. I looked inside because I have a girlfriend, and I was like, "This is bad." And then I saw Michelle call. I think this is why I'm being a phone call right now. And I assume right off the bat that. Once I saw it was a girl, I'm like, this girl probably thinks I robbed her. You're just going to claim that I robbed her. Yeah. So, again, again, she doesn't. I, well, she it, doesn't. Thank, you know what? thank God. Yeah, well, I agree. Uh, but I've had terrible thoughts since about 11 o'clock when I woke up. Sure. So, uh, so yeah. So, I, that, that's really the only lingering one, I guess. Because yeah. she, she doesn't say you robbed her at all. I don't think she thinks that. So that's what she say, why do I have a wall done? I think I think she so she recalls putting it down. And now my and I, again I don't know what happened. Right. But, uh, did you pick it up? That the, is something I've done in the past with people when they drop their shit. I right. take it because I'm not gonna take anything out of it. Sure. Um I mean, I do I did it at the gym last week when they dropped their phone. I take it, I bring it up to the desk. I make sure somebody gets sure. It. It's also it's part of the job. Sure. Um, you make sure everyone gets what they what they have. Sure. Um, uh, that, I mean, I would say that's probably what. So that that, that yeah. And again, uh, again, she didn't make any assertions that yeah. you like strong armed her for her wall or anything. No, like so, if you guys didn't call, or like if I didn't get a call from Michelle this morning, I would have. I saw her address. I was going to drop that shit off. Like, you yeah. know, I mean, approach her like, why do I have this? Okay. And if I could see why she was upset. I opened it up. There's a decent amount of cash in that thing. Um, Sergeant Schroeder, she has it. So it's in their possession. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I, and they're, listen, they're, you're going to get it back to her. Yeah. Um, I didn't touch the damn thing in it. I don't need her money. I mean, <laughs> no, no. And I, I, mean, I, don't, I don't think that ever, no. I don't think that was a, um, do you all, you know, only other thing, I guess, is do you recall going to Chopsticks after no. Burrito Camp? So no. she says that you, that on her way back from Burrito King, her friend was at Chopsticks and you two, the two of you waited in the store for her friend. The student claims that Cotter took her wallet and refused to give it back. She may not have used the word rob, but that is merely a technicality. In my head, I'm visualizing Rio King, but it was actually a chopstick. Yeah. Um, how many How many friends were with her? I think three to four. Okay. Three to four, all African American. Okay. Um, all nice, all loud, funny. 
fun. I think that's what kept me around, just trying to have a good time. Okay. I think that's about it. Can you do me a favor? Just hang out for one second. I'm going to make sure that I'm not forgetting anything, and then I will be back with you in just a second. Okay? I appreciate you. Remember, you can I get you anything? You want anything? Cup of coffee or something? Uh, I'll just do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so, you can do that? Yeah. We're, we're working on it. I'll be right back. Yeah.
I know. I'll give you the call for it if you want to. Yeah, I'll I'll keep in touch with you. But um, okay. yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Talk to you later.
that, to be honest with you. Yeah, I already started thinking that. So, I'm just telling you to be prepared okay. that your name might be in the paper with, I appreciate you know, it. your police officer picture. Oh, I mean, I know that. There, you know, a dirty cop and yeah. whatever Facebook shit comes out and just be prepared for that. Um, yeah. Is she pressing charges? I have no idea. I, oh, you don't know this point. I don't know about it. Because you interested and then starting to think I got to see a judge. I'm like, I don't fucking even know what kind of attorney I need for this. Or if I even need one. Because in my eyes, I don't think yeah. I did anything too. I would get the attorney. Yeah, just because. Yeah. I don't know how a criminal law system works. You ain't fucking either. I know how this side of it works. I don't know no, how. I'm just fucking. So, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely get an attorney. Yeah. Um, are you from around here or from up north? Yeah, I'm from up north. Well, I got guys up there. I got good guys up there, but yeah, they I may don't refer want to make that, I don't want to make that call. No, I do. You know, they may refer you to somebody down here, um, but I don't know. So, it's, it, it's not going to be resolved in two weeks or a month or whatever it is. It's going to be a while. So just be prepared for that. To not be working. Oh, well, uh, uh, I, again, I, I, mean, I shouldn't even have said that. Again, I don't <laughs> know what you have I No, I know. I already know what. Talk to I, your I, union. Know, I know how it's going to go. Well, talk to your union reps because even though you're a new guy, if it works the same over there as it does here, you're still entitled to some union protection and some union representation. Yeah. Well, they told me who I got to speak to throughout the process. Um, Yeah, we don't have to pull you off. I can transport this guy. It's just a real thing. Anybody else is available in the town with you? You want me to just meet you out front? Um, do you want to last slug of water? Because no, I know we're going to take it. everything. <laughs> yeah, that's like a joke. Here you go. Just pause it. Go with you? Yep. Cool. Cotter was released on his own recognizance, but was prohibited from possessing firearms and was ordered to turn over any firearms he owned to the Champaign County Sheriff's Office within 48 hours of his release. He was also ordered to have no contact with university property. Cotter was terminated immediately once the university was notified of his action.